ender pearl. So I finally got enough ender pearl. And yeah, we're gonna be confusing our recipe again. Come on, dude, make the blaze powder first, please. Thanks. Now I finally got enough eyes of ender, and I was ready to meet the dragon. So my quest for the stronghold began, and fortunately the stronghold wasn't too far because one of my eyes of ender did end up breaking, and I only had ten left, which was kind of a gamble. And by not too far, I met halfway across the ocean. But it wasn't a big deal since water can use water spot to swim fast, apparently. Anyways, after crossing the ocean, I was able to find the spot which was below a really tall mountain. I dug straight down and immediately found the stronghold within five minutes. I had just the perfect amount of eyes of Ender and thanked the Lord for that. I opened the portal to the end and without hesitation, I just jumped in immediately because I wanted to get this over. Now, I was honestly pretty nervous because I didn't have a bow with me since I wanted to try to beat the dragon with my water bending skills instead. And also because I forgot about them, to be honest, I'm not talking about that. So my strategy was to waterfall up to the towers and destroy the end crystals one by one. I was actually happy because it was way faster than just building up the whole time. It did get hard at times though because the dragon just kept knocking me off the platform which made me scared of falling to my death. But I had a surge ability so I was fine. When destroying the third end crystal, I actually almost died here because I was debating whether or not to use my water bucket or my surge ability. I don't know why I was debating for so long because they literally both do the same thing but thankfully I lived and ended up healing myself with my water bucket. I also forgot that freezing the end crystals made me not take any explosive damage, so I ended up freezing the rest of the crystals I had to destroy so that I don't accidentally one shot myself when I hit it. For the next 5 minutes, it was basically just the same process of refilling my water bottles and destroying the end crystals over and over again by freezing them. When the dragon finally came down, I decided to use an axe instead of my water abilities because they did almost no damage, and they took longer than the end. I did try to damage it, but it was flying too fast, so I, I couldn't even catch him at the time. Although, I was able to block the dragon's attack with my ice bubble. Even when I tried to freeze it, it broke out of the ice cage. I was getting a little bored, so I decided to crash into it with my waterfall ability, and surprisingly, it ended up damaging it. Now all I could do was wait for it to come down, and after 10 minutes, finally it came down, and I finally defeated it with my axe. Overall, I did enjoy filming this video, so let me know if you guys want to see me beat the game using other elements. And if you like the video, and watch it more, make sure to subscribe. Hi. One day I was going to the gym. I. You challenge us to make giant food and check out this pizza. You challenge us to make a giant slice of pizza. So right now, let's go. I'm cooking it up by kneading my dough, and I'm kicking it out with the sauce. Time to pulverize what? it. What? You're you're pulverize the tomato. Pulverize the tomato. I need a real outfit. I need a bucket. Sauce. We're gonna use this thing here to mash it all up. Okay. So again, you know what? I gotta put this away and show you how to really do the sauce. First, you start off with the tomato. Okay, well, you know what? Since dicing, I'm gonna use little tomatoes with like four little tomatoes and eat one big tomato. So pull your little tomatoes. Oh, oh boy. Can you just squeeze it? Yeah, sure, sure, for three, two, one. Oh! oh! I thought that would be better. I'm sorry, man, I'm not left-handed. Next step is to dice up the onions and man, it's already making me cry. Next step is to add all this in a sauce bowl. All right, so my eyes are finally starting to clear up, so I'm going to add my balsamic and my olive oil. So we're going to add all of the balsamic. Just a little bit, Collins, it's a seasoning. How much of the olive oil? Uh, just a little bit. You guys have to absorb some of the balsamic and olive oil right now, because it's a lot in there, so we'll add some Wait. cheese into my sauce. Sorry, this is an innovation, Devin. Time to add some oregano. It's going to get a big old scoop in here, it's going to be like this. Now back to the dough. See, the thing is, Devin, you're using pre-made dough. I'm making my dough from scratch. We need one cup of flour right here. Good this luck. is the way that you win, Devin. Next up, you just got a dash of salt. So here we go. Just a dash of salt. The winning touch, some cheese. We're going to have cheesy crust right here. All right, now it's time to knead out my dough. So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, Whoa. there we go. Perfect. Got to say, man, my dough is not turning out, so i got a different strategy now. Yay. Whoa. Oh, snap. Oh, wait a minute, bro. The heat looks like a self-portrait of me, man. None of that, though. It's time to grab the pre -made. Wait a second. Do it! I'm using pre-made dough. Because my other dough, it didn't, it didn't quite work right. Oh, bro, I'm getting the flour on here first. So here we go, flour on here. Oh, oh, yeah, so yeah, like this. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Now it's time to put it in the pan and start shaping it. I'm going to add some cheese. I'm going to add more cheese. And it's going to be a cheese. It'll be in the pyramid, but I think it's going to work out really well. So basically, you just want to make this into a triangle shape.
at a swimming pool. Okay, there we go. You just want to lightly sprinkle it on top, just like this. Boom, cheese is on. Now it's time for the final topping. I'm going to be kicking this off with pepperoni, so here we go. We want a giant pizza, need some giant toppings. So here we go, we're going to get some broccoli. Ooh, we'll have a little broccoli mouth. Everyone loves broccoli on pizza. Everyone loves broccoli on pizza. Do they love northern broccoli on pizza? I'm recording this game. I'm playing. I've been. I'm recording it, but I don't have the mic to talk. Mm -hmm.